Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this Confluent Park Pavilion. So let's get started. For the first step, create this pentagon shape. I have already provided dimension for you. Now let's hide this all dimension. And now let's use offset curve tool uh, from right here. And offset it about 0.5. You can put any distance you want. Now let's create one more pentagon. I have already provided some reference for me. Click here and second click will be here. Now let's move this all point to the Z reference point. Now let's use sub D love command uh, from sub D tool and select this to curve and right click. Okay, now you can choose any setting you want. Uh, if you want to, you can try it. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. Okay, now I'm going to use crease command uh, to crease these buttons. And we need to select all five buttons. And right click. Okay, now let's use uh, subdivide command. And enter. And select this curve and right click. Now let's use a select loop service command and click on uh, this edge and right click. Now we need to move all this surface in the our Z direction. Uh, you can move any amount of you want. Okay, now press Ctrl Shift and select these uh, edges. I mean, between this corner, and uh, we need to select all these five edges, and let's move it down uh, in the Z direction. Okay, now press Ctrl Shift and uh, double click on this edge. And let's scale it down uh, to the inward. I recommend you use the external reference to get the desired result. It is quite better if you use it. Okay, now press step key to hide the certified now let's use the insert survey H loop command. Click on this H, and we need to use offset mode uh, provisional command, and click right here, and press tab key to see the survey result. Okay, it is much better now. And now let's use the bevel mesh of survey command and select all these uh, five edges from the corner. And select this too. And right click. Okay, now you need to move your mouse uh, to get the result. And you can change the segment too. I have uh, put the segment amount of three. And let's uh, click at the appropriate distance. Now let's use slam move service command one more time and click on this H. And let's click on other full corner and slam here. And one more time slam here and right click and delete the surface. We don't need it anymore. Okay, now we need to add uh, thickness to su this surface. So let's use offset surface too. Okay, reverse the direction and make solid yes. And put the distance, any distance you want. And right click. Okay, we have add the appropriate thickness to the surface. Okay, look like we need to add crease at the bottom of this uh, surface. So let's press tab key and let's let this edge 
and this H2. Okay, now and click on the add crease command. And to see the result, press tab key. Okay, we need to do this uh, for all other four too. Please do it yourself. And now let's go to the top view. Uh, we need to mirror this surface. So let's use mirror tool from right here and mirror it along this edge. Okay, now we need to rotate this surface too. So let's use rotate tool and click on the copy yes option and origin will be right here. And let's click on uh, this reference line and let's rotate it about this line and click here. Okay, we need to rotate and click on right here one more time. Okay, now we need to explore this uh, left hand uh, surface. So select it and let's explore it and delete this part. Okay, we need to mirror this part. So let's use mirror tool. Uh, you need to use the external reference tool to uh, get the idea and mirror this one too. And mirror it along this edge. Okay, we need to mirror a couple more surface. So let's uh, explore this one. And select this surface and mirror it. And mirror along this edge. Okay, uh, follow step, uh, mirror this surface too. And now select this surface, uh, we need to mirror it to the right side. So let's use mirror tool and mirror along this edge. Okay, now we need to delete some of the parts. So let's uh, delete this uh, to surface, select it and delete it. It is exactly like the uh, one in the real wall. Uh, we need to mirror this one too. So mirror it. Okay, the result is quite pretty good. And now create this sketch for the landscape design. And make sure that you have joined all the curves. Now select all these and we are going to extrude it. Uh, extrude it from right here. And let's go to the right side view. And let's click uh, right here. You can put any more of this thing you want. Now let's go to the top view. Uh, we are going to uh, rotate and mirror it. So for the first step, let mirror this part and choose mirror tool and the mirror line will be this line and let's mirror one more time to the right side and click here. Okay, we need to rotate this. So use rotate tool and reference line will be right here and click on this line. Oops, uh, I need to uh, copy this. So let's uh, use one more time. And click on copy yes command and rotate. And click on this point 